Hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're doing some delicious red beans and we're doing these red beans on the stove. I got some chameleon beans, red ones of course, some diced onions, jalapenos, and garlic. If you like celery, don't forget to add you some celery and some bell peppers. I didn't have it, so I'm good. And I'm using my turkey smoked turkey necks inside of here. I'm also going to add some more meat. But really, this video is about using wooden spoons. I want you guys to know that I will be selling my Cooking with Chef T wooden spoons really soon on my website. But I want you guys to know that it's a southern tradition to use wooden spoons. And we use it for many of things. The main reason why we use wooden spoons is because we a lot of our dishes get cooked and stewed for a long time. From like our roux and things like that. So it gets hot. And using a metal spoon, when a metal spoon gets hot, it's hard to handle. And sometimes chemicals comes off those spoons when it reaches a certain temperature. But using a wooden spoon, it's nice and sturdy. Look at that. Look at the print I have on there. And you can take your wooden spoon like I did. And on most normal size pots, you put that wooden spoon, lay flat on top of that pot with some boiling water. And you ain't got to worry about that boiling water boiling over at all. Something about that wooden spoon keeps that boiling water inside that pot. Boiling rice, boiling my red beans, boiling spaghetti, whatever. And look at that delicious creamy red beans. I cooked that for about two and a half hours. Added my party weenies that I had inside. Gonna serve this with some rice. Guys, go out and grab you a wooden spoon. It is a southern staple. It is something everyone needs in their kitchen, whether you're cooking a southern meal, an Asian meal, whatever. It is so sturdy, and I will have some available with my name on them. Cooking with Chef T. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe.